You're looking for the best Greek food in town. It's at a familiar place now in its third incarnation. Ariana Caracas sat down at Stella's. 71 year old Stella Dikos is in the kitchen at 530 every morning at the restaurant that bears her name. Stella learned to cook as just a child in Greece when her mother died and she was forced to assume the responsibilities in the kitchen. It was a necessity to learn how to cook because we didn't have any uh, fast food places then you had to prepare meals. Not even open a year yet and Stella's now in its third incarnation in Richmond since the 1980s is as popular as ever. Something Stella's husband Stavros would have appreciated. We're sad that my dad couldn't see it. Uh, he passed away right before we opened. So I think his sort of spirit is with us. Katrina, Stella's daughter, and her husband, Johnny Javos, own several restaurants in Richmond, but they say Stella's is their favorite. With the latest installment, it's out with the cliche Greek blue and white routine and instead a modern dining room setup. They've also adopted meza, or tapa portions, meant for family style and sharing. But beyond the decor, one thing brings people in. The food. What I like the most is how just like fresh everything is all the time. It's delicious. It tastes really homemade. Can't pronounce it, but their lemon chicken rice soup is fabulous. I, thank you. Uh, the spanakopita is pretty great. I love it, and it's really good here. Spanakopita or spinach pie is something Stella teaches us to make. You brush the filo with butter, and then you have your filling in your stuffing: spinach, feta, uh, onions, uh, mint. Dillweed. Now you saw Stella make some spanakopita in the kitchen. We started with that, but the staple of any Greek cuisine is the entire fish. It's called psadi, and today we've got the red snapper. We got to Stella's during lunchtime, and even then it was packed on a Wednesday. For dinner, you better get there early or make a reservation. If you can't find a table for two, Stella's features a communal table in the middle of the restaurant, where you can also eat at the bar, where you can drink some ouzo, or maybe even a Stella beer. The only thing in the place that's not Greek. The menu is affordable with the meza plates all around nine or ten dollars and the majority of the big plates under 20. Comfort foods that you get that everybody thinks they're high end but they're just normal stuff that we grew up with when we were kids. As for location, Stella's is tucked away on Lafayette Street between the fan and the West End, giving it a nice neighborhood feel. Convenient to all these little neighborhoods. And as long as Stella is preparing your traditional Greek cuisine, this place will continue to have you say, Opa. Yanni Crocus, 8 News.